And a good day, everybody. John Henderson here of the Beverage Ramble. Back again with you, another Beverage Ramble edition. Today, we're looking at, excuse me, um, Black Bear Stout from Height Brewery. Uh, this is a, forgive me for the pronunciation, or what I'm about to say. It is a Schweizer, 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 Schweizer beer style, lager style. I'll spell it S C H W A R Z B I E R. Beer, Schwarzer beer, Schwarzer. So leave your comments on how I pronounce it. If I did it right or wrong, or I just like, oh, epic fail, Mr. Pierre. Anyway, 5% ABV. Um, I use, I'm not using my teeth today. Yeah, I got the can over there. Uh, gets an okay score on Beer Advocate. Uh, I picked this up at uh, at a beverage store, pack store, which is right next to the supermarket called Super H Market here in Dunwoody or Doraville. I'm going to call it. Which is not far from where I stay at right here in my apartment. Um, it was $1.28, you know, for, for the bottle. So I said, all right, give it a shot, so. As you see, not much head, you can see right up top. As you can see, very little. It is a very dark beer. I guess you can say it could be viewed as a black lager and I've had maybe like two or maybe three during my five years doing my reviews. What was it 20 oh, what month are we in 2015 yeah six years doing reviews then I'm sure people can see what it looks like so there is a bit of drama but also a sense of a bit of a sweetness to this I'm getting Yeah, it is, has a sort of a molasses, maybe, uh, sort of a molasses feel I'm getting to this right now. It's, ain't too bad, you know, so, hmm, there we go, let's have at it. Roasted malt, definitely, but it's kind of. Overly sweet, in my opinion. Not overly sweet, but it's kind of bland. Really bland to me. It's just. It tastes like a very flavored lager, but only darker. You get the roasted characters right away. You feel like, you know, roasted malt, a little bit of burnt, slight burnt coffee. Um, I mean, it's all right. I mean, I was thinking something a little more like really like spectacular, but this is kind of average at best to me. I feel it is so. Um, so about the brewery, Height Brewery, again, the area I live in, very strong Korean, I'll say a very strong Asian market. How about there? It's a very strong Asian market, people from Korea, South Korea, People from South Korea, Japan, uh, a, lot, a lot of uh, Chinese, a lot of stuff that I've seen at the package stores, even some of the grocery stores that is kind of very present and like 
hey, this isn't bad. But, uh, so I'm able to be able to sample some of these things. Like I said, when I saw the beer, I said the price was, was, was too good to pass up. So I said, hell yeah, I'm going to get this. So, you know, I'm not going to pass this up whatsoever. So, um, but so I've been able to get some other good things. I've been able, I got the cast fresh. I got the, uh, Oriental brewing, um, premium lager, premium lager. Um, I've got quite a few good things here. So, uh, I, I haven't been disappointed in what I've seen at the Packers stores and grocery stores. There's still more I want to try. Even beers from India. There's also a strong Indian population here in the, so I guess, as I've said many times, you know, when you live in a very diverse city, when you have like, you know, Atlanta, the Atlanta area, of course, as international as it is, you're going to get a lot of stuff that you wouldn't get, say, if you lived, I don't know, in any some rural, maybe middle, middle city, middle, middle town, minor, small town, you know, Mobile, yeah. Even when I was in Mobile, I probably wouldn't be able to find something like this here, there, excuse me. Um, Golf Court, Biloxi, I don't know. Birmingham, maybe probably because of the distance and that the, it's only like less than 90 minutes or two hours away from here, here in the Atlanta area. So maybe, yeah, I can get that. But um, but if you live in places like New York, Dallas, you know, Miami, you know, when there's a certain population that is, you know, outweigh the other, when you have demographics, things are changing, you know, you pretty much get what you get. So, and you'll have like, hey, you can find beers like this. Then you went to the city, everywhere I grew up in. But anyway, enough geography lesson. I'm gonna cut this short. Um, I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's, 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 I think it's more of a dark lager than anything else. I don't, I don't go, you know, it's, it's about average. Uh, definitely refreshing since I hadn't refrigerated for a good while. Maybe good thing. Maybe if I left it, maybe if I warmed it up, maybe it might have been a difference. But when I, when I read it beginning before I started the, uh, taping, you know, what kind of beer it was, this wasn't your everyday American or Imperial or everyday stout. You know, this is kind of best maybe to have cold, I guess, but yeah, like I said, it's all right, ain't great, but it's all right for me, so I'm going to go with the same score, I think this is okay, um, yeah, some okay beer, uh, I'm going to go 77 point, might be plus, so about a C, Ain't a bad, it's not terrible, but so I'm gonna go see. 7.5, I think that's a fair score for this one. 7.5 for the Black Beer Stout, uh, Hype Brewing Company, based in Korea, so yeah, it's all right. John Henderson Pierre, <laughs> The Beverage Ramble. So keep on watching as always, cheers, live, laugh, and love. Black Bear, Black Beer. Like beer stout. Sorry.